wanted. People to relocate to the picturesque town of Prat de Compta. Population 180. Trade traffic and pollution for mountain fresh air. Crowded classrooms for a school of nine students. There is no hospital, police or fire department. And forget about a 5G network. When Virginie Benhamu responded to an advertisement to move here, she was lured by the job of managing this nine room hostel. She and her seven year old daughter Love arrived in January. I recommend everything. Me, always, I lived in big city, and for me, it's the first time, but uh, I'm very happy. Maybe because it was my dream, maybe I'm feeling good here, I don't know, but uh, I hope it will be for many years. Love can roam and play in the village without the safety concerns of a city, but she also has fewer playmates and a 30 minute drive to go swimming in the winter. <laughs> I prefer to have more kids because then I have more friends. According to government statistics, half of Spain's municipalities are in danger of losing their population. These are primarily towns of less than 1,000 people. However, data shows this issue is not just confined to rural areas. People are also moving out of provincial capitals and small to medium-sized cities. To reverse the trend, this year, the European Union gave Spain more than $11 billion for a repopulation program. The goal is to provide small towns with more basic services, high-speed internet, and funding for housing and job creation. Here you can have a childhood that you will remember all your life. The kids are on the street alone, relate to people from all ages. We have mountains and the education is high quality. Ben Hamu and her daughter are now part of the first population boom in Prat de Compta since 2015. 13 people have moved here in the last year. The advertisement campaign seems to be working. Natasha Ganem, El Jazeera, Prat de Compta, Spain.